Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you an article published by photosdelavirgen.org, and it goes like this. Thieves took my sanctuary and the world. Sivir Nietzsche's shocking revelations. Tribulation accelerates after 2024 and the church in a great test. In Sivernich, Germany, the Virgin Mary, the infant Jesus of Prague, and various saints and angels have been appearing to a visionary named Manuela Strack since 2000. These apparitions are supposedly looked upon favorably by her bishop. Manuela even personally delivered a message given by Our Lady to John Paul II, and the day before, she met with the then Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger. We made several videos about her, and here we want to talk about the impressive messages she has received in the last semester of 2023, related to the situation of the world and the Church, and which are not to be missed. Basically, the messages indicate the tribulations that would come to the world and the Church, Already on October 7, 2002, Manuela received from the Blessed Virgin three keys which marked the future of the world and of the Church. These secrets were given to John Paul II on February 11, 2004. And on October 30, 2021, Manuela received permission to make publicly known what was in them. When Our Lady gave her the first key, red in color, she saw a movie flash before her. She saw hell a very dark and cold abyss, and Satan. And on earth, she saw Islamic terrorist groups carrying out attacks in various places, and terrible persecution of Christians, especially in the Middle East. She saw more and more upheavals on earth, a brief reign of terror. Civil wars were taking place in almost every country. And sin reigned because what was in hell had been let loose on earth. In addition, there were severe natural disasters. The earth was shaking as a result of sin. Strong storms were hitting the earth and something fell to the earth from the sky. In the year 2000 and 2005, Mary showed her an earthquake and a firestorm that would fall from the sky. With the second key, Mary showed her how she protected her children and how the Marian priests and Mary's children not only saved the Church of Christ, but save the world with a great sacrifice. And when Mary placed in her hand the third key, made of gold, she saw Rome attacked and St. Peter's Basilica assaulted. The Church of Christ was persecuted, covertly at first, then insidiously, then officially. And there was a church that looked like the Catholic Church, but it was not the Church of Christ. A new pope had to go underground, while the priests who followed the precepts of God would have to suffer much, and even the Eucharist would be in danger. In 2019, Manuela received a message from Our Lady indicating that we would have three difficult years. Recall that then came the pandemic, the war in Ukraine, and later in the Middle East. But she said that the three difficult years would only be the bridge to something more severe. In other words, after the three difficult years, it would get worse. She told her that we have to pray a lot because the church would have a very hard test by the year 2023. Let us remember that in October 2023, the plenary meeting of the Synod on Synodality will take place, which will continue in October 2024. On April 25, 2021, when the war in Ukraine had not yet begun, the child Jesus told her, Satan is trying to lead you to war. One spark from the adversary could inflame the whole world. That is why I ask you for an act of reparation. And on October 17, 2023, Archangel Michael said to her, The countries of the earth should ask for my friendship. My sword will strike the earth. The devil is the one who confuses but will not reveal himself clearly. He is trying to put doubts in your heart as he did with Eve. Did God really say such a thing? Is this really a commandment of God?" End quote. And he added, Have courage. God's word is valid forever. The time of confusion is a short time for you. Remember this. Whoever is faithful will have heaven forever. End quote. And he also told her that during this time, the great cleansing would take place. And with regard to the church, 
Our Lady said to her on March 5th, 2001, The earth has become a desert of faith. The adversary puts doubt in your heart and wants to divert you from the way which is Jesus himself. He is the one who wants to discourage you, to let laziness and lukewarmness enter your hearts. But I will not allow this by the authority of my divine son, Jesus Christ. I am with you. I will not allow darkness to penetrate completely into the church. That which is sick shall perish. And then the cloud on which Our Lady was standing became a globe. She saw the city of Rome and the Vatican, and then a meeting room where many cardinals were sitting discussing the standardization of the celebration of the Mass without Eucharist. Only one bread should be broken together with the congregation, as many do not believe in the Eucharist. And Our Lady said, It is almost the end of the Church, or so the faithful believe. The ungodly see this as an opening of the church to unbelievers, but I will counteract this. They will not succeed in destroying the church. And on October 25th, 2022, the child Jesus told her that the situation of the church should not bother her because everything has to be purified. On September 25th, 2023, the Lord addressed a message to priests. He said, if your heart is open to me, then I will protect you from all tribulations and I will guide you. Do not be afraid. I am the Lord. Pray, especially for the synod. The tempter will appear in it. I allow this. And he added, Little flock, be witnesses of all that will come now that I have to allow. Do not be afraid. And he ended by saying, Though thieves have broken into my sanctuary, I am with you. They will not be able to destroy my holy church. And a month later, on October 25th, 2023, our Lord said to her, Strive for purity of heart and pray much. I desire that you consecrate your lands to my messenger, for if you honor him, then you honor me and the Heavenly Father. He will be the one to execute the judgment of the Father. He was referring to Archangel Michael, and he asked him to read Ecclesiasticus chapters 1 and 2, saying, If you read it, you will see that the commandments of God apply forever and are not subject to any spirit of the age. Also, our Lord spoke to her of the warning prophesied at Garabandal. It was November 25th, 2022. He said to her, Beware, wherever my Blessed Mother appeared, there will be this sign. And then he showed her a pillar that was different during the day than at night. During the day, it appears to be made of clouds, and at night, it looks like a pillar of fire. This will also be in Sivirnic, he said. It is similar to the pillar that presided over the people of Israel during the Exodus. Is it the miracle prophesied in Garabandal? And he added, Don't wait for the warning. Don't wait for the miracle. Because I can come to you any day, any minute. Sanctify your soul. Well, so much for what we wanted to discuss regarding the revelations about the world and the church that the Blessed Virgin and the Infant Jesus of Prague made to Manuela Strack in the last half of 2023. The central theme in both cases is the tribulation that countries and the church will go through in this period. And I would like to ask you, if you think that in the Mass there will come a day when the consecration of bread and wine will no longer be done, because as it is said here, people no longer believe in transubstantiation. Or do you think that God will not allow it? And here ends the article by Foros de la Virgen. Our Lord asks for much reparation. And thus we wish to conclude with some of the very powerful unknown prayers of reparation that our Lord Jesus Christ revealed to Sister Marie de Saint-Pierre. Let us recall that she was the one to whom our Lord gave the famous Golden Arrow Prayer in the mid-1800s. To those devoted to his holy face, our Lord promised the following. He said, I will grant them contrition so perfect 
that their very sins shall be changed in my sight into jewels of precious gold. None of these persons shall ever be separated from me. In offering my face to my Father, they will appease his anger, and they will purchase as with celestial coin pardon for poor sinners. Nothing that you ask in virtue of this offering will be refused you. Ah, if you did but know how pleasing is the sight of my face to my Father. I will open my mouth to plead with my Father to grant all the petitions that they will present to me. I will illuminate them with my light. I will consume them with my love. I will render them fruitful in good works. They will, as the pious Veronica, wipe my adorable face, outraged by sin, and I will imprint my divine features in their souls. At their death, I will renew in them the image of God which had been effaced by sin. By resemblance to my face, they will shine more than many others in eternal life, and the brilliance of my face will fill them with joy. But even further, our Lord promised the following as Sister Marie relates. Our Lord promised me that all those who defend his cause in this work of reparation, by words, by prayers, or in writing, he will defend them before his Father. At their death, he will purify their souls by effacing all the blots of sin and will restore to them their primitive beauty. Please join us in mitigating our Heavenly Father's anger, therefore drawing down mercy for sinners and the defeat of God's enemies. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Be merciful to us, O God, and reject not our prayers, when amid our afflictions we call upon thy holy name, and seek with love and confidence thy adorable face. Admirable is the name of God. Amen. May the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and unutterable name of God be always praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth by all the creatures of God and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, in presenting ourselves before thy adorable face to ask of thee the graces of which we stand most in need, we beseech thee, above all, to grant us that interior disposition of never refusing at any time to do what thou requires of us by thy holy commandments and divine inspirations. Behold, O God, our protector, and look on the face of thy Christ. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the holy face of Jesus to appease thy anger and obtain the conversion of the wicked and the blasphemers. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and all the other instruments of his holy passion, that you may put division in the camp of thy enemies. For as thy beloved Son has said, a kingdom divided against itself shall fall. Amen. May God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let all those who hate him flee before his face. May the thrice holy name of God overthrow all their plans. May the holy name of the living God split them up by disagreements. May the terrible name of the God of eternity stamp out all their godlessness. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the holy face of Jesus, covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spittle, in reparation for the crimes of communists, blasphemers, and by the profaners of his holy name and of the holy day of Sunday. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee the adorable face of thy well-beloved Son, for the honor and glory of thy holy name, and for the salvation of our country. Amen. Eternal Father, we ask of thee as many souls as was the number of the drops of blood as thy divine Son shed in his passion. Amen. 
Eternal Father, we offer Thee our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the expiation of our sins and for the needs of Holy Church. Amen. Eternal Father, look upon the Sacred Heart of Jesus, which we offer to Thee as a vase that it might receive the wine of Thy justice, and in passing through this holy channel, that it may be changed for us into the wine of Thy mercy. Amen. We salute Thee. We adore Thee, and we love Thee, O adorable face of our beloved Jesus, as the noble stamp of Thy divinity. Completely surrendering our souls to Thee, we most humbly beg that this seal be affixed upon us all, so that the image of God may once more be reproduced by its imprint in our souls. Amen. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen. <laughs>